In this video, we will factor quadratic expressions in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a doesn't equal one, using the graph of the related quadratic function. Where the quadratic function in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c can be written in the form of a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two, where a is the coefficient of x squared and r sub one and r sub two are the zeros. Remember the zeros are the x values that make y or the function value equal to zero. And therefore to determine the zeros or r sub one and r sub two, we determine the horizontal intercepts of the graph of the quadratic function. Just remember when looking for the horizontal intercepts of a quadratic function on the coordinate plane, there are three possible outcomes. We can have two horizontal intercepts, which gives us two distinct binomial factors, or we can have one horizontal intercept, like we see here, which we call a double zero, and therefore we let r sub one and r sub two, in this case equal negative two, giving us two of the same binomial factors. The third case is we don't have any horizontal intercepts, and therefore we don't have any binomial factors. So going back to our first example, to factor two x squared plus five x minus 12, we begin by graphing the quadratic function y equals two x squared plus five x minus 12. And I've already graphed this on the right, and notice how we have two horizontal intercepts, and therefore we have two distinct zeros. The horizontal intercept on the left is the ordered pair negative four comma zero. However, it's more difficult to determine the horizontal intercept on the right. It looks like it's about 1.5 or three halves, but let's verify this on the T84 graphing calculator. We begin by entering the function, so we press y equals, and then enter two x squared plus five x minus 12. Let's start with the standard window by pressing zoom six. As long as we see the two horizontal intercepts, the window is fine. So notice how we don't see the vertex, but we do see the horizontal intercepts, and therefore there's no reason to adjust the window. Let's use the calculation menu to determine the horizontal intercept on the right, this point here. We press second trace for the calculation menu, option two for zero. Right now the cursor is at x equals zero off the screen, and it's asking for the left bound. We need to move the cursor to the left of this horizontal intercept, but closer. Let's say right about here, press enter, and now it asks for the right bound, which in this case means above. Let's say here, enter, and then press enter when it says guess. And notice how the ordered pair for this point is 1.5 comma zero, but let's use the improper fraction of three halves. So now we know this ordered pair is three halves comma zero. Which means to write the given expression in the form a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two. We know a, the coefficient of x squared is two. We know r sub one is negative four. And we know r sub two is equal to three halves. Which means the given expression is equal to two times the quantity x minus negative four, which simplifies to x plus four times the quantity x minus three halves. So while this would be considered factored form, we normally don't leave fractions in our binomials. So what we can do to clear the fraction from the quantity x minus three halves is to distribute the two into this binomial. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's first change the order and write this as two times the quantity x minus three halves times the quantity x plus four and now we'll distribute the two to clear the fraction from this binomial. So two times x is two x, and then minus two times three halves, the two simplify out, just giving us two x minus three, and then we still have times the quantity x plus four. This is the factored form, this is the factored form of two x squared plus five x minus 12, which if we wanted to, we could multiply out to verify. And now to factor the next expression, we graph y equals four x squared plus 27 x plus 18, which I've already graphed here on the right. And once again, notice how we have two horizontal intercepts here and here, and therefore we are going to have two binomial factors. The ordered pair for the horizontal intercept on the left is negative six comma zero, 
it's unclear what the ordered pair would be for this point, and therefore we go back to the graphing calculator. We press y equals, clear the old function, and enter the new function. So we enter 4x squared plus 27x plus 18, graph. And now we'll use the calculation menu to determine this horizontal intercept, or the zero at this location. We press second trace for the calculation menu, number two for zero. Right now the cursor is at x equals zero off the screen. We need to press the left arrow to get to the left side of this zero. To the left in this case would be below here. Press enter. Right arrow to the right side. Enter. When it says guess, we press enter. The order pair for this point is negative 0.75 comma zero. Negative 0.75 is negative three fourths. Let's use the fractional value instead of the decimal value. So the ordered pair for this horizontal intercept is negative three fourths comma zero. So now we know that a is equal to the coefficient of x squared, which is four. R sub one is negative six, and R sub two is negative three fourths. So writing the given expression in the form a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two. And again, we know a is four. x minus r sub one is going to be x minus negative six, which simplifies to x plus six. And then we have times the quantity x minus r sub two, which is x minus negative three fourths, which simplifies to x plus three fourths. So again, this could be considered factored form, but normally we don't leave fractions in the binomial factors. To clear the fractions from this binomial, we will distribute the four into the quantity x plus three fourths. Let's first change the order and write this as four times the quantity x plus three fourths times the quantity x plus six. And now we'll distribute the four. Four times x is four x plus four times three fourths, which gives us 12 fourths or three. And then we have times the quantity x plus six. This is the common factored form of the given quadratic expression. I hope you found this helpful.